Hello everyone, welcome back to Outrus Plays. Stone Block 2, boing! Oh yeah, I forgot. I won some slime boots, uh, and so every time I fall off of a thing, I bounce a couple of times, but it does mean that I uh, take no fall damage. Look what I made. This is a heck of a lot of drawers. I have started manually. I've moved everything from all of my chests all in there. And they're all in here. Look, look, look. Coal. Flipping charcoal. 94 redstone, 300 coal. Glowstone, etc. Look, 19 emeralds and only 7 diamonds. Unbelievable, Jeff. Uh, here's all all the things that I have found so far. I made it to the mining dimension. I think I showed you. Did I take you? I did. Because uh, we <laughs> spawned in the wall when we got back. Uh, I've been in there for a while. It turns out the mining dimension doesn't just have a, a heck of a lot of ores, at least compared to this place. It also has caves. So I accidentally completed a quest because one of the quests I... Um, had. Where are you? Um, basically involved mining something, but I, I, I don't know what it was. Let's see if we can find this quest. Here it is. So, Mystical Agriculture Quest. We have got Inferior Essence. That's right. You can mine this stuff, turns out. Uh, so, that's going to be something we want to get into. That's why I built that big uh, greenhouse area. Did I show you that I'd finished it? An Octodic Capacitor, I believe, is actually quite difficult to come by. So I'm going to keep this chest here as a, a sort of quest reward, quest rewards and things like that. Um, we want to take some of this stuff out though. Compare the slime ball blaze rods. Uh, probably uranium grit. I don't know. Anything else in here we want to bring with us? I don't think so. We should be okay. Let's put that in there. Um, And then I'll bring you over here and show you what I've got. Also have a look down here. <laughs> boing, boing. This is where I've now put my water mills here from EU2. Something we might want to get into. Oh, mouse. I can't. I don't know how to use mice. Um, EU2 is something we're probably going to want to get into at some point, but it may be something we bypass because there's just so many mods to play with that I don't want to really get bogged down in trying to make sure we hit them all. Uh, I'd rather make sure we do the enjoyable ones. So over here is the sort of um, the natural sort of area. Blaze powder, I, used to, <laughs> I don't know if I have a space for it. Let's see. There's uh, stones and stuff over there. There's some crystals from Thorncraft. I've left some space for Thorncraft. And up there I've got 4x4 four four areas for anything that comes in 16s, like the colours of wool. Uh, but, you know, for now, not that important. Where should we put these things? Uh, I guess this is sort of a powder. I'm going to put it over here. There we go. Blaze rods can go in there as well. Um, but this is not very good. I don't want to have to come in here every single time and fill up this place with <laughs> everything that I've picked up. Especially if I'm going to go mining, I just want to dump everything I can find. This this chest here as well, by the way, which just contains everything that I've got a little bit of that I don't want to use an entire crate for. But uh, uh, I'm sure I just saw a nameplate over there. Was it Herobrine? Probably come to haunt me, no doubt, because I'm... Dithering too long and taking too long over a simple... What is this, episode 13 or 14? And I've still only just got this much done. Anyway, we want to make that a little bit better. So, what we can do is move on to... Let's have a look at our thingy, because it's actually in the quest book, which is what we're going to be doing next, which is to have a drawer controller. Um, the controller will allow you to attach a single block to a bunch of drawers and... Uh, access it as a single inventory which represents all of the drawers so it basically looks like a chest that contains everything that has the stuff in the drawers in it let's have a look at drawer controller controller this is fairly reasonably easy i think redstone comparator is redstone and nether quartz <laughs> uh, stone is easy diamond is easy and another drawer there let's see if we've got any nether quartz in here it's possible that it is all dictionaried with Maybe Certus Quartz, we've got uh, Dimensional Shards, not what we've got. Let's see. This will accept any Gem Quartz. Is this a Gem Quartz? Crystal Certus Quartz. Uh, if we do a Dollar Gem Quartz, we see that we can use Nether Quartz or Black Quartz. Do you have any Black Quartz? I feel like we had black quartz somewhere. Did we? Double look in here. Double click that. 
You can add, by the way, it didn't even occur to me, you can double click your dollar gem quartz and it shows you everything in your inventory that matches. If I, if I do this, it doesn't count. Uh, I'm sure we had black quartz. Well, there's more things for me to show you, so we will learn about this in a moment. Uh, meanwhile, have a look at this. Six ender pearls. How about that? How about that? Not only six ender pearls are in there, but this has been going hell for leather whilst we've been whilst I've been doing other stuff. Even more things, seven more in here. Amazing. There's an Enderman right in there right now. I can hear it. This is full. So we have a full tank uh, of liquid essence. And these things as well. These things, incidentally, I was opening the loot crates, because loot crates um tend to drop when you beat up enemies in this mod pack and killing them with the mob slaughter farm. Uh, the factory also counts as a player killing it, which means that you get the drops that you would get if you killed it yourself. Oh, things. Oh, I forgot. I got a doggy. Come with me, doggy. So the puppy spawned whilst I was away. This this stuff is far enough away from everything to just spawn passive mobs. There's another wolf there, which is not my wolf. Uh, it gave me these. Ender lilies. Ender lilies produce ender pearls. And I also happened to get Ender Stone from, I think, either a quest reward or another loot box. So the loot box gave me Ender Lilies. I already had Ender Stone, and these things grow reasonably fast on there. So now I have 16 Ender Pills, which is great. Uh, it means we can start making some cool ting. But also, 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 we had a cloche. Just dog. I did, did. Okay. It's the enemies over there, which are then being killed by the Slaughter Factory, gaslighting me into believing that, in fact, nothing happened at all. Um, anything in here? No. So, if we pick up our cloche. Where's our cloche? Cloche. Cloche. There you are. So, we only got one of them. It requires power to run. So, for now, I'm just going to stick it in here. This all needs to go, by the way. We need... Hello. We need to uh, get way more leadstone stuff and we need to get way more just general piping, etc. But we can start doing that now that we've got ender pearls, and this is going to help us. Are you, getting, you are getting RF through there. That's amazing. So um, we have the opportunity to have a, a basically an automated production of ender pearls because if we get a single piece of end stone like this, and one of those ender lilies that we had. I don't think the ender lilies reproduce. If you need an ender lily seed, tough, basically. Uh, you don't think you're going to get more than one if you keep growing ender pearls, but that's okay. Because if we put this ender lily and this ender stone in the cloche, what the cloche is going to do, is, its job basically is to grow stuff. Stop bouncing. So uh, if we put this in here and this in here, you'll see slowly it will grow fertilizer amount ah so we, we do get a mm, okay so you can put uh, a, a, bit, a bit of fertilizer in it oh i guess that's where liquid fertilizer goes right um and that will i guess improve the growth of the thing but over time this should grow we'll see and output ender pearls into here if it doesn't at least we've got two more <laughs> right uh Given there's a constant supply of ender pearls, but now we've got ender pearls, which has been a big problem for quite a long time. Because ender pearls, at the very least, is going to allow us to teleport around, which is very helpful because our um, mining dimension is way up there in the distance, and we live here also. Have you noticed on the mini map how in that direction there's two yellow dots? There may be yellow dots. There's dots, right? Here's another one. It's the wolf. Good boy, sit. Uh, but those represent mobs, which is how I discovered that there are caves in the mining dimension because I found bats on the minimap, which meant that I could go and find them. Uh, and I'm wondering if uh, there's something that happens if you get to the top of the mining dimension. Probably not, but it'd be nice to find out. We need to do a lot of things right now. So uh, Nether Quartz is one of them because the draw controller, which I was not prepared for, does require an, uh, Nether Quartz. Which is not in there. So if it's not in there and it's not in there, then we don't have any, in my humble opinion. So we're going to need to get some there. Oh, by the way, look at all the stuff I got from just a couple of trips in the mining dimension. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right. Let me prepare for the next step, which is going to be some form of 
travel, I think. Uh, yeah, let's do that first. And then I will... Oh, do you know what? Got a better idea. But let me come back in a few minutes when I'm prepared for building stuff. Now that I've shown you my new cool base, etc. And uh, we will get making it and start progressing. See you in a minute. Alrighty then, shush dog. Ready when you are. We are going to make, first of all, this. Uh, it's a machine frame. Oh, I didn't get glass. <laughs> Ready when you are. I didn't get glass. Uh, we're going to make this machine frame. Machine frame. Do I have glass in here? Did I store glass? I think. I, I obviously very soon quickly noticing the problem with all these drawers is that I don't have everything that I need. Oh, I should show you another thing. Yes, yes, yes. Um, have a look at this. Do you remember I made this material stonework factory, which was making sand for us? I thought it would make dirt, but it didn't. I made it make dust, and then I thought, what happens if I grind dust? You get silicon, which is going to be very useful. I'm glad that we've got that much dust, uh, that much silicon, because I think at some point we're going to be happy with that. Uh, let's... Speed this along a little bit. Be careful with this thing, by the way. If you shift click into this whilst it's sped up like this, I think the game crashes, or at least my Steam link crashed. So that was bad news bears. Uh, stone gear is easy. Tin gear is easy. Just dog. Shouldn't have let the dog come with me. It's being noisy. Golly. Right, uh, lead gear. So we need three more stone gears. Oop. One, two, three. Then a lead gear. One. Then two copper gears. Mine of copper. I picked up copper. This is nickel. This is nickel, friends. The other difficulty, of course, is going to be that things look similar to one another. And if you have trouble with that sort of thing, you're going to find that you have trouble with that sort of thing. Oh, I don't want to put all of this in. So we'll look at this. Come back over here. I do have trouble with colours, so I hope you'll forgive me for being, you know, naturally disadvantaged in that respect. There we go. That's two of those, and then one of these, just one, please, and then two of these, one, two, thank you, and then we can make this. What does this do? <laughs> Glad you asked. Probably something very similar to one of these that we've already got, right? I don't think we have anything that does a similar thing, to be honest. So uh, let's just put it up here. We will reorganise all of this stuff at some point. <laughs> I uh, promise. That gives you information. Look at that. What does it say? I read it. Eh, whatever. Uh, if you put something in here, it will get charged eventually by the power that's going into it. Another thing we're going to need is a lot more power because look at how slowly that is happening. Uh, let's try this. It, it does speed it up. But I d this, this has a limit to how fast it can go as well, right? You can see these the actual flux ducts themselves are filling up with RF, which means that they are not able to transmit their RF. Well, there's no way for it to go, but if you put the RF in too fast, it won't leave fast enough, so you're going to have a problem. We are also going to make a uh, matter receiver from RF tools, which I'm ready for already, because this is one of the reasons why we needed so much. So many ender pearls. Uh, I'm going to make a second one for now, uh, but I don't think I'm going to use it for a while, okay? And then we're going to make a charge, uh, a porter, a charged porter. Now this, advanced charge porter, what does that do? Taste the charge porter, fair enough. Uh, I think this literally just holds more RF, maybe? Um, this is what we want. We need a block of redstone, which we can make. Now that I've been mining, we have more than enough resources to do some of these things that previously have been a bit of a bother for us. I'm guessing you can't just put this in here. Uh, let's charge this up. Now, this is going to take some time. Not too much time, I hope. Can we speed? <laughs> I'm worried about speeding some of these machines up because it crashed. <laughs> it did crash. I'm going to stop recording. I will come back when this is fixed. Be right back. Okay. Don't touch this for a while. Um, it crashed when I did this, and then when I came back, it had the little turny thing on it that we know means that this worked. So I went, oh, it worked, and then I right-clicked on it, and then it crashed again. So just, just stay away from that. Is my charge port in my hand? No, so it must be in there. I'm scared. I... Oh, it's here. Okay, good. So this is going to right, that's working. It says progress 0%, but it, it doesn't, it's wrong. So, fine. Let's 
pretend that doesn't exist and, and continue with what we were doing, which is, uh, I think that's it. Uh, let's put this somewhere. So here's how this works. Another thing we're going to want to make, by the way, is some, some form of energy. Uh, if you have a look at RF tools, uh, cell, the simple and the simple power cell here, this should be sufficient to, you can connect these things together, but again, we need another quartz. So that's going to be a problem, but it's not going to be a problem for very long. So all we need for a while is a little bit of leadstone. Please go. We might some, want to make some more of this. Do we have any lead left? Yes. So uh, a bit more of this. Just give us six, which is very helpful. Um, and we'll we'll put this somewhere reasonably sensible. I don't know if I want it to stay here, but at the same time, uh, I don't want to really go too far away from my. Uh, my, my cabling here because I, I need to use it. I'm just going to bring this down here. Oh. And put that there, there, there. And of course, I haven't done this right because now I need to do this. Because you can't get out of there when you stood on that. I think I can just break this without losing it. Yep. And then put one of these here matter receiver. Uh, and then stone back in here and here. This can stay. It's all right for now. Have a look at this. Uh, it's being filled up with 100,000 RF, and this is going to be a library. So we're going to add, this is now called library, and then when we port to here, I don't know which way we're going to face, <laughs> but it's near the library, which is not really a library, but we'll call it that. Uh, okay. uh, stacks. So those are the stacks, that's what I'm calling that place, and then this now that it's got some stuff in it. So if you have a look at how this works, it says, uh, no target set, sneak right click on receiver to set. So if I sneak right click on this receiver, charge port target set to one. Now if I right click this, boom, we're here. This works across dimensions. So now I feel confident about going somewhere. I've got another matter receiver, which I'm gonna put in the mining dimension off camera. But that's not going to work until we can get some uh, interdimensional power going, which won't be too long because after we've done all this, well, now that we've done all this, we are going to put this away and all this stuff away. I'm going to go into the nether. Let's get rid of... Let's get rid of this. <laughs> we'll take this chest. Here's what I'm going to do. This is going to be a temporary chest. We need to go into the nether to do the next bits, which are going to involve the part where I can actually... Uh, this doesn't go. It involves the part where I can actually get all the stuff into the stacks. Which is the name I'm calling my archive library thingy here. So all this stuff is going to go into here for now. I'm just going to pretend that this is magic. So eventually things will come out of this chest, go into all the stacks, and then this chest will be empty. And then that's auto-sorted. At least we know how to get things out of our inventory, that's going to be because only 40 RF from here. This is still going, so this must still be. It's filling up these flux ducts, right? So all of the flux stuff he drained into here and has been drained into there and all the other things. And now these are slowly filling up because this can only produce so much. So we really should probably get another mag. How many can this support, do you think? Magmatic. Whilst we're here. Is gold, a lava bucket, a furnace generator, and some redstone. Do we have any of those bits just sort of hanging around? Generator. Generator. We have machine blocks, which don't aren't called generators, but nice try. Um, we'll prepare ourselves to go to the nether, which is going to be 10 pieces of obsidian. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't care if you produce more obsidian, because it's free and lasts forever. We also need to figure out where to put our nether portal. Also, I've got like those here. Um, what was I saying? Magmatic generator. Is there anything in here that by that description? No. I'll do that off camera. We'll add some more power to that just to keep things ticking along a bit more nicely because as we add machines like this, like that, that are really going to require a healthy amount of juice. These, these 17,000, how much could it take? 20? Doesn't really matter. Uh, now that we've got all this going on, we can probably think about going to the nether. Ooh! What do we need to go to the nether, boys and girls? A little piece of flint and a little piece of turning to be steel, which is really iron. 
That's how you make fire, even in this technological age. Honestly, I'm pleased that Steve here is quite capable uh, of just using a flint and steel. It's not something that we, as humans, really get... In the modern world, we, we don't really put much effort or thought into how our ancestors would have done what we take for granted. I mean, I would much rather have just made a butane lighter. That's an option. One, two, first. No, if we go and get... Got an idea. This is a good bit. Watch this. Hooray! And we're pointing it in approximately the right direction, so that makes me happy. Two more pieces of this. I know I went a long way up the stairs. <laughs> but at least we can nip back any real, any time we really want to. That's that's grand nice. Another thing we're going to want to work on, by the way, is um, dealing with all the stuff coming out at the end of farm. But that might have to be the next episode because I don't want to keep chopping and changing. In this particular episode, first of all, I'm going to... Uh, you know what? I'm going to keep the slime boots on because in my stone block one single player playthrough that I didn't record, just, just to play it because Diolf was playing it and I wanted to have a go myself, um... I spawned in the nether and I was on a precipice above a huge pool of lava, which knowing my luck will happen yet again. In fact, probably every single time I go to the nether. Hey, what happened to the nether thing where you could... So you could have any shape these days. Huh? Huh? Can I do this yet? No. Can I do this. Uh, so I, what I, I did upgrade my hammer, by the way. First of all, it's got two modifiers left because I filled it up. And a complete other modifiers worth of redstone, so now it's that fast. And also, see how it says mining level cobalt? Cobalt is higher than obsidian. It's taken a while, but it will break three pieces of obsidian at once for me, and it should give me them back. It did. Haha. -ha. So uh, let's just put this here for now. Oh, you've done it wrong, you pillock. Um, yeah. <laughs> I know this is wasting a small amount of obsidian, but it's infinite and free. Who cares? Uh, can somebody, by the way, in the comments explain to me why that didn't work? It isn't working either. I don't think the nether portal works as I think it does, does it? Stone block. Nether. Down here somewhere. Where's my nether? And... Nether? Nether? Nether rack. Make some nether biome. It's the only way to make hell biome. Ha ha ha. So we can't go to the nether that way. Well, good to know. Let's do what it says. Let's complete another quest. Why don't we? Uh, quick change of plans. Quick U-turn. I could be a politician. Um, brilliant. Right. Okay. Uh, what did you say we have to do? It's a redstone in what? Barrel full of lava. That's easy. Give me my barrel. Where's my stone barrel? I don't know. <laughs> Where are you, Stone Barrel? Have I, have I betrayed you once too many and you've forsaken me? There you are. Crucible. Will that do? Block of redstone. Let's try it. It might be the crucible in the first... No, the crucible is what creates it. Hmm. I can make one dead easy. It's not really a big deal. Uh, give me... I did use a lot of redstone. <laughs> give me the rest of the redstone, then. Let us make nether rack. Okay. okay, okay. Block of redstone. In. Barrel. Barrack. Rack. Uh, stone barrel. Stone barrel. Stone barrel. Go. I don't know where it is. I'm going to make a new one. It is stone and stone slabs. I don't care that I probably got stone slabs knocking around somewhere. This is cobblestone and it's not going to work, is it? No. Do, 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 do. Why don't you cook this for me? I'll go and get the stone slab. Going well? Thank you for watching. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's probably some stone slabs in here. Yes, just one. Thank you. I have uh, more crafting tables because I keep having to walk back and it's very annoying. Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. I didn't bring my blinking bucket, did I? 
A bloody bucket, mate. Where's my bucket? Well, I got this. It's destabilized redstone bucket. That's really cool. It came from mining some clathrate or my bucket's in this one, which I found in the mining dimension as a result of finding the mm, the, the 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 cave that I told you about. So if I do this and then just dog this. talk about this game please using redstone just redstone oh that's nice thank you for the netherrack just one how many we need 16 oh, that's all right uh let's turn this back then so that's one you gonna watch me do this two uh you know what let's do this differently I don't like this being down here. Ah, uh, hard and fluid. Two. One. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ready? Is that because that's the radio? Wait. You are filling up with lava. Right, you've stolen all my lava, haven't you? So if we get... Oh, you're full now. Are you going to go faster if I do this again? Yes. Okay. You were filling up the other tank, so this one went slowly. So that, let's, let's put this here so we can see. Three, four. Kind of slow still, but at least it's faster than it was. I'll come back. Give me a minute. Here we go. Here we go. It's done. 16. Quest reward, please. Quest reward, please. Quest reward, please. Thank you. Yeah. What does this do? Hell, I don't know. Uh, Biomarker. I. Uh, you know what? Let's find out. Biome. It's a good way to end the uh, episode, I think. We'll learn about the biomarker. It's Adam and YouTube. A biomarker changed to biomarker of the biome where the player is. This is in a quantum quarry in order to specify which biome. Quarry. Which biome the terraform will. Okay, biome marker stone block health stone. Yes, stone block two. There's a quest which can be used in XU2 quarry or terraformer. You can sieve soul sand for nether quartz. Well, that gives me an idea for what to do in the next episode because we need soul sand in order to get nether quartz, which makes sense. I think it means that you can't get to the nether. <laughs> so they've disabled nether, which means I've wasted all that obsidian, which is not a waste, it's just an elder's a. <laughs> Broken nether portal in the middle of nowhere. So don't bother commenting about why my nether portal didn't work. I think we figured it out. So. You need the biome for Thorncraft. But you can't, I don't, it doesn't say how to do it. So let's look at that another time. This was a quest that we did and it doesn't give us the nether and I got prepared to go to the nether. But at least I can come back to the, um, I can come back to the overworld from the mining dimension anytime I want to. And then in the next episode, well, I suppose we do want to set up better power. Uh, I will create more of these, maybe a couple more, but if I do that, I might have to improve our lava production. And if we do that, we might have to improve our lava transfer rate. Not sure about that. We'll find out. Um, uh, so off camera, I'm going to do a few things. You can see how this keeps emptying. There's no liquid in this. So somewhere the lava, it must be here, right? This is probably using a whole bunch of lava right now. Look, this is EU2. Interesting. I wonder if we can just extract the power from those things down there and bring it up here. Anyway, <laughs> waffling on and thinking and talking and all that nonsense. Uh, we, we can create more power. I'll have a look at that off camera. 
Then in the next episode, we can have a look at making um, the extra utilities, no, the RF tools sell, which will be reasonably easy once we've got some nether quartz. But then, of course, we need the nether quartz. So in the next episode, we're going to look at how to create soul sand in an automated fashion so I don't have to keep faffing around right clicking on blocks. So until then, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope that you will join me for that next one where things are going to get interesting. Until then, again, thank you for watching and I will see you.